What's up everyone, Take Turn here. Welcome back to another video. The 2023 NHL Draft is finally here. And today we're gonna to be going over some of those prospects. Let's get right into this. The Chicago Blackhawks have the first overall pick this year, so there is no doubt in my mind they're going to select Connor Bedard. Bedard could be the best prospect to enter the NHL since Connor McDavid was selected number one in 2015. The 17-year-old has dominated every level he has played at this year. Bedard is a generational talent with the ability to fast forward the Blackhawks back to next year's playoffs and I honestly can see that happening. The Anaheim Ducks have the second overall pick this year and there is no doubt in my mind they're going to be selecting Adam Fantilli. Fantilli dominated the NCAA hockey as few 18-year-old freshmen can. He led all players in points with 65 and tied for lead in goals with 30. Next, the Columbus Blue Jackets are going to be selecting the third overall pick and in my opinion that is likely going to go to Leo Carlson. Now Carlson will not blow your skates off like Bedard but he is still amazing on the ice and I could really see him at least helping out the Blue Jackets because lately the Blue Jackets are just going way downhill so having a new prospect would definitely help them out a lot. The San Jose Sharks have the fourth overall pick this year and there's no doubt in my mind they're going to be selecting Will Smith. No, obviously not that Will Smith but this Will Smith is a top prospect nonetheless. Smith is a game-breaking talent who helped the United States win gold at the 2023 Under-18 World Championship with 9 goals and 11 assists in 7 games. The fifth overall pick is going to be selected by the Montreal Canadiens and that is likely going to be them selecting Ryan Leonard. He has the high-end compete, grittiness, and a big shot and the willingness to be the guy that stirs the pots when the team needs a spark. He had 94 points in 57 games for the US Hockey's national team, which is just crazy in my opinion. Next, the Arizona Coyotes are gonna be selecting the sixth overall, and there's no doubt in my mind they're gonna be selecting Mativ Mitchkov. The 18-year-old had 20 points in 30 games and skills that are nearing Bedard's level. He still has three more seasons left on his KHL contract, so Arizona will definitely need to be patient selecting him. The Philadelphia Flyers have the seventh overall pick, and that is likely going to be them selecting Oliver Moore. Moore does everything at a high pace. The Flyers have talked about the need to add top end skill to their prospect group, and Moore has the ability to be a top six center in the NHL in the near future. Next, the Washington Capitals are going to be selecting the eighth overall pick, and that is likely going to go to Nate Danielson. This is a great opportunity for the Capitals to add a skilled right-handed shot. He led Brandon with 78 points in 68 games. Next, we have the ninth overall pick, and that is going to be selected by the Detroit Red Wings, and I could honestly see them selecting Zach Benson. Benson was the leading scorer on the best team in the WHL during the regular season. He ended that season with 98 points in 60 games, and his work asset is one of his best assets, which will definitely add to the Red Wings. And finally, we have the 10th overall pick, which is going to be going to the St. Louis Blues and in my opinion they're likely going to be selecting Braden Jaeger. St. Louis needs depth down the middle and Jaeger improved his playmaking to complement a powerful shot this past season. Those are my predictions on the first 10 picks for the first round of this year's NHL draft. I honestly feel like I could have kept going but it would just make for a really long video so I thought just discussing who I think is going to be selected in the top 10 positions. So I thought just discussing who I believe is going to be selected by which team in the first 10 picks I thought was going to be very beneficial for a video and I hope you guys enjoyed 
as well. Comment down below if you agree with some of these choices. Obviously, Connor Bedard is going to be drafted number one. We already know this because of everything he has done this past year and what all teams are saying about him. It's no doubt that the Chicago Blackhawks are going to be selecting him. But what about everybody else that I mentioned on this list? Do you think I'm right? Do you think somebody else is going to squeeze in there? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.